This guy next to me just hit the back of his car with a shopping cart. <laughs> And now it's going to hit my car. What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. It is Tuesday. Uh, woke up kind of late today because we stayed up late last night um, hanging out with Cody from Pink Gorilla. We went to Vault 31, which is the barcade here in Vancouver. And we were there for two and a half hours or so, just like chatting and hanging out. It was a lot of fun. If you missed yesterday's vlog, definitely check it out. Uh, but I'm about to take a shower and then I'm going to head to the Goodwill outlet. Um, it's already 4 p.m. so I'm not going to be there for super, super long, but hopefully we can find some cool stuff. Um, and yeah, my sister is out with my sister right now. Wait, Abby is out with my sister right now. <laughs> um, they're going to do a couple things, going to Target and and doing some stuff so uh, it's just gonna be me today but hopefully we can find some cool stuff and show Cody how it's done because when he went to the outlet he didn't even look so let's take a shower get ready and then we'll head out you guys there's a rainbow do you see it River here as soon as I step out of the car but we are here happy Goodwill outlet I don't know how many of you guys saw Cody's live stream from yesterday when he came to the store but before he came to the store he actually stopped here and he barely even looked around which I thought was kind of weird um, but I've got my gloves as always and we're gonna be finding some cool stuff today hopefully um, it's a little bit late in the day, but there's always stuff to find here. They're always doing rotations. So we're going to head inside, see what we can find, and I'll try to do some filming for you guys. I know you guys have been enjoying those little time lapses I've been doing.
we didn't find too much in here, but found enough to make it worth the trip at least, of course. Usually we do. I'm walking back to the car right now, then we'll take a look at everything. I tried to film a lot more this time than I normally do. Um, every time I film here, I use every single clip. Um, it's pretty much how I do my entire vlogs. If I film it, it's going in the vlog. I don't pick and choose things and I don't redo shots or anything like that. So if you see it, then, you know, that's everything. Um, <clears throat> so when I film here at the outlet, I show you guys every clip. This time, hopefully you could tell that it was much longer because I filmed for multiple, multiple minutes instead of like, you know, I probably filmed like, I don't know, like eight minutes or whatever. Normally I'll do like a minute or two. So we got this plush, not quite sure what it was, but it's from Dota 2. So obviously it's a character from the game, but got that guy. We got an Angry Birds plush just for the, the $3 bin. I found Final Fantasy VII Black Label, but it's missing disc one. But we have so many extra discs for all the Final Fantasy games that I know we can complete it. It's got the manual and discs two and three. I found a couple empty Xbox cases, Halo 2 and Robotech Battlecry, both with manuals. You guys saw me grab this pack of uh, Memorex Blank DVDs. These are gonna go on Amazon. I think they're about $25 or so. We got a Tailspin VHS. We got a sealed Hobbit uh, animated VHS. We got this Cartoon Network, The Howling Tree. And then we got Tiny Toons. Uh, my phone ran out of storage there, so I didn't realize, and I went through everything else and got in the car to leave, and my phone wasn't recording, and I was like, oh crap. So I'm gonna try to do my best to show you guys what we missed here. So big massive cables. We have an SP charger and a DS light charger. And then we have an Xbox 360 AV cable and also an Xbox 360 breakaway cable. We got a couple sticks of RAM. I just saved these up and locked them on eBay. I actually haven't ever done a lot because I'm waiting to fill a large flat rate box because then it'll sell for like four to $500. I got two Game Boy games, which I never find. Just dropped one. Tom and Jerry, I think it's Mouse Attack, but the label's ripped. And then the other one, I'm not worried that I dropped it because it's Stuart Little 2 for Game Boy Advance. <laughs> got a tech deck, I locked those up on eBay. Yellow Ranger weapon just for the dollar bin. A couple My Little Ponies and a Smurf for the dollar bin. Found a Jack Skellington Disney Infinity figure. These ones are not super cheap. Most Skylanders and Disney Infinity figures we sell for $1.99 at the store. Last time we had one of these, we sold it for 10. And then I also got this little guy. Doesn't have any sort of markings, but he has a logo on his back that is an eagle head with two crossed lightning bolts behind it. So I figured with that, hopefully David can uh, recognize this if you guys can't. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So not too much, but like I said, I think it was still worth coming. Um, for, I also got a couple more VHS. I don't know which ones I showed you. So Tailspin, Rugrats, and Tiny Toon Adventures. And then the Howling Tree and Hobbit. So with the Final Fantasy VII, I'm, I'm almost positive that we have a disc for it. So, where are my keys at? In my right pocket. So, uh, I'm pretty sure we can complete it. And then it's a $25 game. That pays for everything we bought today, plus is 10 bucks profit. And then um, on, you know, on top of that, we have that Dota 2 plush, which I don't really think is gonna be worth much more than, you know, three bucks or so, but that's fine. Um, I'm, I'm always grabbing, uh, plushies to put in the, the $3 bin anyway. Um, but yeah, it was a pretty good stop. So they weren't really rotating very much. They're doing a lot of clothing and stuff. That's why I'm, I was only here for a short while. Everything that I just showed you guys was that like all that stuff came out of bins that other people had already dug through for who knows how long they've been sitting out there. I didn't go through one single new rotation because they were all clothing. <laughs> um, oh, this guy next to me just hit the back of his car with a shopping cart. And now it's gonna hit my car. <laughs> that was a close one. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> he pushed one into his car. He has two carts. Pushed one into the back of his own car and then just like turned around. I guess he must've dropped something on the ground and started walking away and his other cart started rolling right towards my car. 
Um, luckily he caught it in time or else I would have, but that was a close one. That was a little exciting for you guys, hopefully. Um, but yeah, they're just doing clothing. So, um, what time is it? It's 5.49 p.m. So we have plenty of time before all the other Goodwills close. So I'm going to hit up um, probably a couple more. Um, yeah, let's do two more. And then I don't know if Abby and I are planning on going out to dinner tonight or tomorrow, but we're going to be going to Makoto. We haven't been in so long. Um, I'm going to see if she wants to go tonight because I would like to go tonight. And then I can just meet her over there. And there's another Goodwill right by Makoto as well, which is one I was not planning on going to. So we'll see. But for now, let's head to uh, the Hazeldale Goodwill. We here, we here at Good Wit Wit Will. This is the Hazeldale Goodwill. <clears throat> Haven't been here in, I think, a week. Let's see what we can find. Typically their video games are in the glass case. Let's go look. Not seeing much. Four of these, 
three bucks a piece. They are $15.50 after fees and shipping on Amazon, which is really, really good. They have a super low rank. They should sell right away and they're not restricted. It's probably kind of loud out here, but we just got a pretty good haul from that Goodwill. Good thing I parked close. So, I think I filmed just about everything that I grabbed, but just in case, go over it again real quick. God, there's no room in my back seat, or in my trunk. All right, <clears throat> so we got three guitars. This one had some corrosion, but I took the batteries out and it looked all right. Um, so five bucks on this guy The Xbox 360 ones do not need dongles or receivers got this one here in the bag That was $6.99 a little bit more and then we got the PS2 one also for $4.99 These will sell at the store for about 25 for the PS2 one 40 for the Les Paul one and then the wired Xbox 360 one will be about 50 and then <clears throat> I got that Big Bang Theory game, it was four bucks. It's like 15 after fees and shipping. I got the Bendy and the Ink Machine toy for the store. It was four bucks. They're about 13 on Amazon. So I'm hoping we can sell it for like 10 at the store, maybe eight. Um, I got all those ink cartridges, which were super awesome. I got this Yamaha remote, which I didn't even look up. It's a, 
V662560 if you want to look it up. Uh, it was three dollars. It's a CD player remote, and that should be about fifteen to twenty. And then lastly, from the glass case, I didn't see it at first, but I filmed it when I was looking at the video game stuff. But there was a um, an RCA digital voice recorder. It was $5. It's clearly used. The packaging is all destroyed. But um, new and used are about the same price on Amazon. So after fees and shipping, we should be able to get about $27 for that, which is pretty good for a $5 investment. So I'm going to put this cart back, and then we're going to head to the next Goodwill. Something kind of funny that I just noticed is I try to pick my parking spot based on how much light there is to film, <laughs> at least at night. This is the fourth plane Goodwill. Hopefully we can have as much luck as we did at the last one. GameCube game. Too bad it's a bad baseball game.
So all we got from this one was that pyramid, thousand dollar pyramid or million dollar pyramid DVD game, whatever it is. Um, I tried to do a little screen capture, looking it up on Amazon. Hopefully you guys, hopefully that worked out and you guys saw it. Uh, we also got this PS2 guitar for another five dollars. So the PS2 guitar is twenty five at the store, and that pyramid game I showed it. I can't remember exactly what it was, but it was selling for like fifty five before fees and shipping. So. Uh, it's about half a million rank in toys, which is not too bad. So that was a score. So came home from going to Goodwill earlier, and Abby stopped at Thai Orchid, which is a uh, Thai restaurant downtown, um, and got some pad Thai for us, which we ate earlier, and it was really, really good. But after that, we've just been sitting here watching YouTube, and it's like 3.30 in the morning, so we got to go to bed, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. really hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, don't forget to smack the like button, leave a comment down below and subscribe, and we'll see you guys again tomorrow.